Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the McGonagall Boxing Podcast. So it's just last minute predictions here uh, for the big Conor Ben Van Herden fight coming up in Manchester in about, well, about an hour's time. Um, how do I see it going down? Well, um, quite simply, I see total destruction. That's what I see from Conor Ben. I think he's getting better and better and better. Um, and I don't think Van Heerden, um he's anywhere near Ben's level now. Um, had this fight been five years ago, then it would have been a great crossroads fight. Not now. Uh, ben, without doubt, is the most improved fighter. Not on the British scene. On the world scene. His improvement has been amazing under Tony Sims. But that's large credit to, to Ben as well. Because, you know... Make no mistake about it, he's obviously got his name uh, from his dad and, uh, you know, the trappings of success already, you know, and he could have quite easily gone down a uh, Sheva Junior route, couldn't he? You know, where he was just kind of living the life, not really half our training, half arse in it, but he hasn't. He lives in the gym, trains like a demon, he's got his own hunger, he's his own man, and I love the fact that his dad has just basically let him get on with his career without interfering too much or... You know, not doing a Eubank Senior, for instance. Um, he's trusted uh, Eddie Hearn to guide. And let's be honest, I know I give Eddie Hearn a stick, but he's done a brilliant job with Conor Ben, giving him the right fights at the right time. And he's unrecognisable from the fighter, you know, two, three years ago um, that was struggling, that got flawed, um, that, that looked out of his depth in many ways, um, but just kind of, got through it with sheer will and determination. Now he's a polished fighter. Great hand speed, great boxing IQ, great power, ferocity, but sets the shots up. I mean, the Algeria knockout was brilliant. I mean, that wasn't just a flash in the pan. He'd been working Algeria for four rounds, beating him up systematically, and then caught him beautifully on the ropes with the right. The right. But he can also punch with the left. He's still at the jab with the left. Um, very quick, sort of, um, sort of wide stance, Ben, but it takes the centre of the ring and he's very good at eluding punches and coming back with his own. Excellent counter puncher, but obviously, um, as well, he's an aggressive come forward fighter, but he can elude punches much better now, um, which, you know, four or five years ago, even three years ago, he was getting clipped. Um, so, you know, obviously, the form- since the Formella fight, He's been unrecognisable. He's been a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant improvement the last 18 months. And that's credit to him. But um, what, how's his fight going to play out now? Well, as far as I'm concerned, Van Heerden is lucky to have this fight. Because, make no mistake about it, he was on his way to being knocked out in his last fight against the, uh, the young prodigy, Jaron Ennis. And a freak head collision uh, sort of saved Van Heerden. Um, otherwise, he was, uh, you know, he was going to get stopped. The problem he's got, and yeah, people go, oh, well, he's a south poor, he can cause Ben problems. You don't think Tony Sims has been working on that for the last six, seven, eight weeks with Ben, working on south Of course he has. He can get the best south paws in Europe now with the, with the name Ben's got and the funding he's got and the backing he's got. So I don't see that as a problem. Um, and I also don't see, I mean, south paws are only a problem as well if you're elusive, if you're quick. And you've got Sting. Van Heerden hasn't got any of that. He hasn't got speed over Ben. He hasn't got chin over Ben. He hasn't got power over Ben. You know, so it's not a problem, as far as I'm concerned. But Ben will walk this guy down. And the problem is with Van Heerden, he can get hurt as well. He got stopped, obviously, on the ropes by Spence, who just systematically broke him down. I think Ben's going to make a statement. I think he's going to stop him even quicker. I think this fight is over within two rounds tonight. I think Ben will realise that Van Heerden can't hurt him. He, Van Heerden's getting older, nearly 35, he's slowing down, he's there to be hit, he's there to be hurt, especially when you back him up. He's not slick or quick or elusive like a Rigondo or a Mayweather, um, you know, on the ropes. He sort of panics during the headlight and I think Ben's going to stop him. He's, yeah, I mean, he's got a, um, a, an overhand right, which he, he kind of throws frantically when he's under pressure but like I say I think Ben will see that coming I think he'll counter him and I just think he'll do exactly what he did with Algeria but quicker 
as far as I'm concerned, I think this is a big statement. And he needs to make a big statement, uh, Ben. You know, Van Heerden's what was he, number 10, um, WBO, number 12, RBF. So he's in that fringe top 10 level. Um, ben dispatches him quickly and easily. Then he's going to be shouting out for top five. And then he's going to be shouting out for the U gases of this world. You know, um, they're, they're, they're the fighters, the Danny Garcia's. Even the Kel Brooks, although I know Kel Brooks probably likely to go down the Eubank Junior route. Um, these are the fighters he's going to be calling out, and he's going to be getting a name, and he's getting a backing now. He's getting a following um, from Design and Matchroom. He's, he's soon, he's fast becoming Matchroom's most popular fi fighter, and Hearn will take him to the bank on that. So um, I agree with Hearn. I think Ben gets the job done, moves to 21 and 0, and then he's got, you know, he's, was he 25 now? He's ready. He's ready to take on the gut, the big guns. I don't think he's ready off course of Crawford, who's elite of the elite, pound for pound king. And he's probably not quite ready for Spence, even though I feel Spence is on the decline, especially after that horrendous car crash. Um, and he got buzzed a few times against Garcia, who's on the slide himself. So Spence is probably a little bit too far, but not a million miles off. Whereas Crawford is elite, elite. He's too much for Ben right now. But he's getting on, isn't he? Call for 35 soon. You know, these guys won't be long around for too much longer. And then it's you, and then you guys, same. He's 35. He's not going to be around for too much longer. And then Ben, I think, is going to take over the, the division. I think he's getting better and better. Him and Ennis will be a brilliant fight down the line. Um, you know, and obviously David Easy, Avenesian, we want to see that fight. Again, I think Ben disposes of him. I think he gets him out there. Um, I think he's got far more spite than Josh Kelly had, and he's got a better chin on the Ben. So, um, but these fights are big fights for him. He wants to make a statement to Avnesian, to Ennis, get the attention of Spence and, and Crawford. I think he will tonight. I think, you know, he'll be also trying to get the attention of the big US broadcasters. I know his own is, is aired over there, but you know, let's be honest. ESPN top rank hate. Um, he's an HBO there. Showtime. Are the big money players still Fox, and so they'd be looking, circling around Ben, especially as a name with his dad, and his name on his uh, out his own right now. They'd be circling for him if he makes a statement tonight. No, make no mistake about it. So he can break that American market. It's a big fight. Manchester's gonna be a big crowd cheering Ben on. I doubt many people will be cheering Van Heerden on. That's another big factor. Ben all right, always what rises the occasion. That impresses me. He doesn't get nervous, does he? He doesn't freeze on the lights. He likes the attention. He likes the bright lights, especially the home crowd. Gets him G'd up. I also think what's impressive over the last 18 months is he can just get really worked up and almost lose his head, get too emotional. But now he's got that perfect mix of, okay, I'm aggressive, I'm pumped up, but I'm not going to rush in um, wildly and get dropped like he did early on in his career, you know, when he's just like headhunting, rushing in. He picks his pots now, he breaks fighters down. He broke our jury down, he was aggressive, but he was calculated. He didn't just run on emotion. So he's learned to tamper that, that high adrenaline he's got. He's still aggressive, but he's, he knows when to turn it on. And my goodness, when he does turn it on, he's ruthless. He's brilliant. I think, and his dad said this, this is a big statement, I think at the moment, his progression, he's going to go on to be a better fighter than his dad was. Now, his dad was an incredible fighter, one of my all-time favourite fighters. Two-weight world champion, WBC, uh, uh, super middleweight champion, brilliant fighter, Nigel Ben, Hall of Famer. But I think Conor Ben could be better. I think he's got better boxing skills. I think he's got better hand speed. I think he's got better head movement. I actually think he's got better chin. I think he's got better gas engine as well. He doesn't seem to get tired anymore. He lives in the gym, whereas his dad was a party boy. You know, he admits that. Drinking, drugs, everything Nigel Ben did. Brilliant fighter, and that's what made him a fighter he was. He was on the edge, but he didn't live the life like Conor Ben is. Conor Ben is disciplined. And I think he's got, he's, he's learned from his dad's mistakes. He's wise with his money um, as well. He's, he's, he's an old head and young shoulders, Conor Ben. He's focused, he's dedicated, and I think he's going to carry on this route. I don't think he's going to let success get to his head. I think we're looking at one of the great British fighters in the next five years. That's how highly I rate Conor Ben. I think he's getting better and better and better. And make no mistake about it, Van Heerden, a good thought gatekeeper for world level that's what he is he's no more than that and I think he'll get dispatched in ruthless style I don't think Van Heerden's fought anyone 
anyone of the ferocity or the speed or the accuracy of Conor Ben. Almost a peak Conor Ben now, and he's going to be in a world of trouble. I believe Van Heerden, when he gets backed up, will be in a deer in the headlights. I think he'll try and throw that uh, trademark over our hand right. Ben will slip it, come back with his own left and right, and that'll be all she wrote. Van Heerden's vulnerable to the body, as Spence uh, has showed. So I think Conor Ben will break him down, probably in the first round with a body. and the second round, I expect him to get, it, get him out of there. And I think it's over. I think this fight does not go long at all. Conor Ben by brutal KO, round two. Let's get it on. Can't wait. We're an hour away in Manchester. It's going to be a great crowd. Can't wait to watch it.